Hey guys, what's up? Alex here back with another Vegas Pro 11 tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create that ghosting type of effect and I'm going to also show you guys how to apply it to your video game clip. So let's head on right into Vegas Pro and you're going to have your clip on the timeline. What you need to do is uh, go to your video clip and press U. That will separate the audio and video clips and you're just going to right click on your video track and you're going to duplicate it uh, since the ghosting effect is going to have the second video track mimic the movements of the first video track alright so where to put the ghosting effects usually I like to put the uh, effects right after I make a shot so around here and that's where we're going to be uh, placing the effect on. So let's uh, go to the part where you make the shot and I'm just going to cut it and make sure you're cutting on the top video track that we just duplicated. So let's press S and this short video clip is going to last until 18, about 15 to 20 frames. So after around those number of frames, we're just going to cut it again. 17 all right and then you want to go next to the next shot go forward after you make the cut about 17 frames and cut it and you just want to delete the uh, clips we're not going to use so these are going to be the uh, clips in between each cut so let's delete it and delete it Alright, next we're going to fade it in so that the ghosting effect will kind of fade out after about one second. So go to the top left hand corner of the uh, video track we just cut up and hover your cursor. There should be a little icon called Fade Offset. Click it and drag it to the right to about three frames and do the same for the right side except do it for about eight, eight or ten frames and do the same thing for the uh, second video clip. All right, now on to the creating the ghosting effects. So we're gonna be using a compositing mode called add. And what that does is it'll combine the color values of the top video track along with the bottom video track so that the final render, it'll produce a lighter image. So if you set it to add, the final image will become much more lighter and all the color values will brighten up a little bit. Alright, so after you set it to add, what we're going to go to is the event pan crop option. And this is the part where we're going to have that a ghosting effect where it zooms in. So again, you want to go to the first uh, quarter of the clip and you just want to make a keyframe. So you can either uh, press this little button called create keyframe or you can just double click that will create a keyframe. Next what you're going to do is go to the last keyframe or the last part uh, on this timeline and you're just going to get this and zoom in all the way in. And make sure you, that you have these two options selected. Or else if you don't have one of them selected, uh, such as this one, and you zoom in, it's going to look something like this where it doesn't maintain the aspect ratio. So make sure you always have these two options checked. And we're just going to zoom in. And then you can zoom in around this size, depending on how fast you want the effect to happen. All right, so let's preview the first effect. And that's how you do the ghosting effect in Sony Vegas Pro 11. Again, you can also do this effect in Pro 8, 9, and 10 as well. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any more suggestions for any original tutorial ideas, please post them in the comments below. And if you have any problems uh, with any part of this tutorial, 
ask me in the comments and I'll reply to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys next time.